It's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SV Talk, and today we have the pricing for the 2023 Chevy Colorado. Now, you may recall that this Colorado has been redesigned. It's got a new 2.7 liter inline four cylinder turbo engine with three different uh, engine outputs, three different tunes, basically. It's made it to a redesigned eight speed transmission. I know eight speed's not got a lot of love. Hopefully, the redesigned version is much more reliable. And we have a short bed basic crew cap setup. That's the only variety. We do have WT, we have work truck, we have LT, we have uh, Trail Boss, Z71, ZR2, and a Desert ZR2. So let's go ahead and get to the details and the pricing. I've kind of talked about different trims as well and which ones they have. They offer different looks. Yeah, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm going to share this on my screen. We're looking at pickuptrucktalk.com. And we can see there along the, in the homepage, we see the 2023 Chevy Colorado pricing jumps after just three, jumps $3,000 after redesign. It's not quite the whole story, but it is three grand more for the starting price. So let's talk about this. So gmauthority.com found the information out. They uncovered it in depth. The nut is this, the base price for the new base WT trim will be $30,695. That includes a $1,500 basically destination fee. Now Jill went to chevrolet.com and tried to build the current work truck and she couldn't find the price that they used to show was 25,735. Let me, geez, let me slow down. $25,735. Sorry, I got a little fast this morning. And they couldn't find the configuration. Instead, she built and price one, came out to $27,855. Now, that's a forced OnStar services fee for $475 to be able to use some of the features inside the truck. Something GMC has done. Looks like Chevy's following suit, and it's just disappointing. The exact price difference then for the base to base was $2,840. Okay. But that's not all. So we talk about the changes, and then we go deeper and say, if you look at the top tier 2022 Colorado ZR2 Bison, which is uh, going to be uh, not quite as impressive as the 2023 Chevrolet ZR2 Desert Boss, just a little bit different design, different vehicle. Uh, the price difference for the top tier is $1,775, which really isn't that bad. Now, uh, there could be more pricing changing later. Let's go ahead and talk about the overall pricing chart for the Colorado. The Chevy Colorado starting MSRPs from the work truck trim, LT, Trail Boss, Z71, ZR2, and ZR2 Desert Boss. We can see two-wheel drive is an option through, w through LT, but then you get out of LT and it's all four-wheel drive. Again, this is more like a desert racing truck what kind of building. Price point plus destination fee, 30695 We told you for the work base truck. The base LT is 33095 That's two-wheel drive. The base four-wheel drive, which is more, I think more people would buy this, is $36,395. And then when you get into the Trail Boss, Z71, ZR2, and ZR2 Desert Boss, then you really see pricing difference change. We, we start adding thousands and thousands, getting all the way to Desert Boss, $57,595. And again, these are all one engine choice on those higher trim levels. Lower trim levels looks like we'll have different versions the LT will be able to buy. So that's kind of cool. Now, let's talk about these differences as far as, I had this kind of queued up, but uh, let's talk about these different trim differences. So we have full trim comparison on the website. This is the image. This is probably a computer generated image because I don't think they even built this yet. This is a work truck exterior. This is what you get for the 2023 Chevy Colorado. There's your work truck. If you look at the um, in Trail Boss, this is the Trail Boss version we have photos of. We don't really have photos of everything yet, which is kind of crazy. Uh, that is the Trail Boss. You get lifts. I think all these things, all the Trail Boss everything comes in a lift. Uh, let's check that out. Off-road content, two-speed transfer case, and different torque ratings, max towing. And I believe it has a lift as well. I may have not typed that in right. Uh, this is the LT. This is your base truck, right? So there is the LT with the bow tie. Um, both of the work truck trim, you get interior, you get black LT, black interior, premium wrap steering wheel, express up and down driver's window, express down passenger window, front and rear floor mats. Looking at, let's go back to that work truck trim for a second. Uh, interior is standard 11.3 inch infotainment screen, eight inch behind the wheel digit gauge cluster, cloth seats, manual adjusting driver's seat, push button start, front USBs, Google powered infotainment, wireless, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So that's what we have differences there. When you go LT, you get basically a premium wrap steering wheel, you get a black interior, and you get more power up and down windows plus floor mats. Why are floor mats extra? It's always boggling me. This is the Z71 exterior, which is pretty cool. And looking at that one, it's got 
Your differences will be standard horsepower, 310, 390. Max towing is the same. But inside, we have black or red interior, cloth or leatherette seats, manual sliding rear window. You get that with the rear defog defogger. <laughs> uh, you have you add, add cruise control, which is kind of funny these days. Add LED lightning, daytime running lights, fog lamps, and tail lights. What did I say it's funny about cruise control? Because brands are making that an option now. <laughs> Bizarre to me. Uh, it's got two-speed transfer case and all that kind of stuff. I would think cruise control would be standard, but it's not. Ford's doing the same thing as Ranger. Just kidding. one more way to save a dollar. This is a ZR2 exterior. I believe this is the Trail Boss because of the way that front end looks and the way the uh, uh, sail panels around the back. And so when we look at the Z ZR2, it has the widest, highest and widest stance, so it's got a lift, and I believe they come out a little bit more on the tire as far as the overall width of the of the vehicle. You have ZR2 Black Artemis interior heated front seats, eight-way power adjustable seats, dual zone HVAC, all that kind of stuff. Um, exterior, it's got 33-inch, those 33-inch off-road tires, power locking front and rear differentials, the Multimatic DSSV dampeners, a ZR2 chassis, the skid plates. It's supposed to be pretty darn badass. One of the things that's interesting that we talked about that came up in the comments, I want to put in this video as well to bring, put your attention to it, because we do listen to you guys in the comments, is the question about rear leg room in the rear of the cab, the crew cab. So if you go crew cab only, you know, a lot of people would think that you to make sure the crew cab actually can fit people. And there's been a lot of conversation about the Colorado currently as far as not having enough leg room for the rear passengers. It's just a smaller truck. So we looked into this and we said, surprise, the 2023 Chevy Colorado has less leg room than the 2022. So apparently Chevy did not take that thought process when it went to engineering. And if you look at all the interior specifications, it's got... 0.2 inch gain for the other uh, front leg room. It's, front leg room is a touch more. Everything else is nuts. So looking at the leg room, looking at the crew cab for the 2023 Colorado versus the 2022 Colorado, right? Rear leg room is 1.1 inches worse. Front headroom is 1.1 inches worse. Every other number is worse, except for, like we said earlier, 0.2 inches gained by the front leg room for the driver. And the passenger. That's it. Front seats get a little bit more. Everything else gets a little bit narrow. So it's kind of an interesting vehicle choice in that we don't have a whole lot of work. We have some work truck trims, but we don't have the old school regular cab long bed. That's not out there. We don't have extended cab either. Only have crew cab only. We have um, different tunes in those engines. We don't have a diesel option anymore. Everything is turbo. Everything's got the new redesigned eight speed. And uh, yeah, those are your choices for a total price of $3,000 more than the outgoing model and a little bit more money for the top tier model. So what do you guys think? Put your comments down below. You guys think this is a good deal? It's a bad deal? Is GM, is Chevy crazy? Uh, build and price tool, by the way, I have from the GM authority coming to this as well. They, their date for the build and price tool going live is December 15th, which means that's the date that we have currently today. When we do that build and price, I'll have to go ahead and build a Colorado. We'll talk about those prices as well. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts below. Also, come check out the video over here, website down below as well. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.